Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Sunday, guys. It is the day before Memorial Day. And I just want to take a moment before we start to thank all the military who have sacrificed um, their lives and their time to keep us safe in this world. Thank you so much. And my heart goes out to any families who have lost loved ones because of them serving. Um, we'll be so ever grateful to those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. All right, so not to start this off in a morbid way, but um, this is, you know, another episode of Journey to Redemption. I don't even remember what episode this is, guys. I apologize. I want to say it's episode nine. I think I did this the last time. You'll have to charge it to my head and not my heart because, yeah. But we are in front of the champion residence, and you're probably like, what's going on? Why are we in there, in their business again? Well, I mean... Come along with me. We, we need to get a few things covered um, before we go back to seeing Tati. So let's get in the game. Oh, um, bef um, before I start again, I'm going to put a, a little pin in that. I uh, will let them roam around for a little bit. Um, stay as long as possible because I do have a little announcement that I would like to make at the end of the episode and I think you'll want to stay and hear it. All right, so let's get into this LP, shall we? All right, so um, I was tracking Nico for a little while. Yeah, here's Nico. Um, Nico is a little embarrassed yeah, he's still okay. That was rude. You nasty. Um, Nico is a tad bit embarrassed, and yeah, okay. Well, his breath smells terrible. First of all, okay, so he needs to go ahead and take care of that situation. Um, but yeah, he's embarrassed because Tati actually just left, or well, she didn't just leave. But uh, she left several hours ago, and along with the rest of the tutoring group, they decided to move their, um, their tutoring group to different locations just to keep it fresh. If you guys kind of saw in the little montage um, from the beginning. But uh, Tati was kind of feeling herself today, and or earlier today, and I guess she might have mistaken the vibe she was getting from Nico. And yeah, she trying to she went ahead and let her flirt fly a little bit. And uh, uh it did not go over well at all. Um he basically shut her down um and in the nicest way that he possibly could, but uh he was a little embarrassed too because you know he felt like maybe he was leading her on without you know per well not purposely leading her on but nonetheless uh he you know still wanted to be friends you know he didn't want to lose his best friend well he they've become actually really good friends i would say yeah they're good friends they're not best friends but they're really good friends he's gotten to know her um and what is going on he is gassy Wow, what did, did you eat something? What, is there, oh, honey, and he made it, oh, good thing he wasn't eating that, he is tearing it up, y'all, <laughs> all right, so it's pretty late, uh, it's actually in the morning, why is it every time we meet Nico, he is like, wide awake at four o'clock in the morning, hasn't had any sleep. This is his life. This is his life. I'm going to have him sleep for a couple hours before he goes to class. <laughs> and uh, we're going to check on his mom, Elisan, and see how she's doing. Um, she's not in good spirits, at least judging from the look on her face. Let's 
Let's uh, take a look. Yeah, she's got the suspicious look on her face. And if you guys remember from the last episode, uh, we did catch um, Mr. Champion on the computer. And I um, put it out there that I might, I think that, uh, well, a couple of people actually, Keo Sims and I think K, uh, K Stray even mentioned that two things could be true here. Um, Nico, or Nico Mason could be um, looking for love on uh, Al Gore's internet, or um, he could just be lonely and needing someone to talk to about his issues with his wife. You see that guy? She is highly suspicious. Look at the look on her face. She's like, yeah, I see you. I know what's going on. I checked your history. Yeah, she was checking um, his search history. But, you know, we don't know what's going on. He's a doctor. He has a lot of long hours. They don't really have time to spend together because of those hours. And maybe he's just feeling a little, um, a little, I guess, what would you call it? He needs some quality time too. And I don't mean just quality time in the bedroom, but you know, he wants quality time from his wife and not just, you know, Hey, how's it going? How was your day? But you know, men like to be pampered too, right? They, they like, they like to feel loved and needed. And right now he's not feeling either one of those things. Well, he's feeling needed in the way that he doesn't want to feel needed. She wants a baby. And, um, I, I would say that he's feeling more like, um, a baby factory. Like she's using him just to create another child. All right. So Mason is going to go, go ahead and go to the hospital um, and work. Check her out. Okay now. Okay, she's a little embarrassed. She's got she's got bad breath too, but what is this? Feeling unsure something went wrong and Melisande is losing their confidence. Yeah, that that's exactly how she's feeling right now. She's losing her confidence about her marriage. You know, she's she's a little suspect about um, what's going on with Mason. She's a little afraid to ask because she doesn't really know. She want, doesn't want to know the truth. So she's going to just, in her head, um, deduce what's going on with him. And that couldn't, that may not bode well for their marriage, but we'll see. All right, Nico's off to school. I didn't even check on him, guys. I'm busy running my mouth about Melisande and... Um, her husband Mason, but Mason's off to work. Melisande's by herself. I will uh, get check back with you guys in just a moment. Okay, we are back, and I just noticed something, guys, and I don't know if you have, but have you noticed that Melisande has been in her pajamas? Like for the last couple episodes, she has been in her pajamas. She has not taken a shower. Well, I think she's taken a shower. Let me just check on her. Yeah, she's taken a shower, but she's changed right back into her pajamas. I don't know if she's feeling depressed or not, and it could be. But um, I did notice that she's also been spending some time. W okay, should Nico invite over classmate Shiloh? All right. Um... This is interesting. Shiloh is Tatiana's best friend. I was not expecting that. Look at the Sims writing storylines for me. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and allow for Nico to bring Shiloh over. But I just wanted to give you guys that little tidbit. Um, and she's been checking the, the ads. This looks like a dating site. I don't know. But... Um, yeah, she's been doing this on and off all day long. She has only moved to get a glass of water, which you guys saw her uh, walking back with it. But yeah, um, my plan was to have Nico do his homework and go on a date with Tempest. But um, he's grabbed himself a bowl of cereal. Where is Shiloh? Oh, yeah, let's have her come in. Um, call her over. Maybe he'll put the bowl of cereal down. Wait a minute. Did we get a new butler? We got a new butler. What happened to our butler? You guys, what happened? Wait a minute. Hold on. What happened to our butler? 
Did he leave? No, Mr. Yoshida is still alive. You know what? It's typical. Melisande is one of, she's hard to work for, and more than likely, Mr. Yoshida left, so they had to hire another one. I mean, he's not, he's not bad looking. He's an elder, but uh, he looks good for his age. Um, all right, so where did uh, Nico get off to? Okay, so Nico's um, probably wondering why um, Shiloh's here. So maybe they'll have a little chit-chat. Um, whoa, that was weird. It's like, all right, Shiloh, you know, what are you doing here? They really don't talk. And she's like, yeah, I know, I'm... It's like, well, how are you doing, first of all, apparently? But she's like, yeah, I'm not really sure how to ask you this, but um, what's going on between you and my friend? She's been spending a lot of time with you um, and your tutoring club, and she just hasn't been hanging out with us as much, even with this new freedom that her mother's given her. And he's like, yeah, well, she's been helping me get my grade up, and it, I have to do it. It's a prerequisite for me to play basketball. She's like, yeah, no, uh, she's been acting awfully strange, and it's it's not like her. She hasn't called me, she hasn't texted me, you know, but, um, all right, well, I guess Shiloh, oh, well, Shiloh's still hanging out, but um, I'm going to have Nico dismiss her because um, he wants to go eat. Why is he setting the table? He wants to go eat, and I think he's going to go ahead and invite um, Tempest out on a date. Let me see. How do I do that, you guys? Y'all. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Here's Tempest. As far as I know, they're just friends, Tati. Yeah. They're just friends. And Shiloh has the nerve. She doesn't really know him that well. But. All right. So we're going to go ahead and have them go on a date. And I think I will send them off to. Where am I going? To somewhere in Windcrest. New, Windcrest. That's a new town, you guys. You, you know that. I'm going to have them have a sit. At, oh, yeah. Let's go here to. Um. Uh, do we want Italian or, I mean, that's the, oh, you know what? Let's go, no, let's, let's have Italian. Why not? All right. We're going to go ahead and go and eat Italian and we will be right back. All right. Welcome back. And of course it's rainy. I don't know why it rains so much in my game. And that's not great because we're at a restaurant that's outside. Uh, I guess we could sit inside, but the game kind of bounces around a little bit with the, um, but whatever, we will go ahead and request a table here. I'm sure Tempest isn't very happy about it. They're both really kind of tense. Well, he is at least. So let's go ahead and request a table by the window. Um, what is going on with her chef's hat? Okay, well, obviously you're not supposed to wear chef's hat with that hair. <laughs> it's not hat compatible. All right. Let's see if they can get a table. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's sitting outside. Oh, look. It's Sage and her sister, no, her mom, Sage, her mom, her dad, yeah, where's her sister? Hmm. All right. Okay, people are highly upset. Um, where do they go? Where are they? Are they going upstairs? Oh, this is the worst night for a date. Well, where is Tempest? There she is. She's just hanging out over here. Uh, I guess she's waiting for him. <laughs> uh huh. Is she waiting to be seated? 
Ah, oh, this is... This is terrible already. He's not... Where's Nico? Okay, there he is. He's going up the stairs. Is Tempest following? Look, y'all. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what, was, what was this? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tickled at that, but I am highly tickled at that. I'm so sorry for screaming in your ear, but that is hilarious to me. All right, we're going to peep in with them. It's so loud. I mean, it's kind of romantic. Let me see if he can light the fireplace. Oh, this is a tight squeeze. Whoa. Someone else. Y'all probably need to go inside. I mean, this is not the best, uh, the best time to be eating outside. Al Fresca is, uh, looking awfully dangerous. <laughs> that is Sim number two. Let's see how many Sims get struck by lightning, shall we? All right, so they can finally sit down and eat. It's a little tense. Um, I mean, she looks awfully calm. She's like, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. You know, what have you been up to? I noticed you've been hanging out with your, your tutoring, your little tutoring club lately and I just haven't had any time spent with you so I'm glad you asked me out on a date uh, let me see if I can get him to compliment her appearance um, yeah oh they look so cute together alright so you know he's in a good mood sort of let me see Scared of thunderstorms. He's got some other things on his mind. Well, he's probably still thinking about that uh, little um, moment he had with Tati early, earlier. Oh, he's got to use the restroom. Okay, let me order for the table, and I'm going to send him off to the restroom really quick. So let's see what we can order. Okay. Ah, uh, that's awfully loud. All right, so they're underaged, so... Uh, all right, let's go with... I don't want... Let's go with sparkling water, I guess. Um, oops. And... Is that it? Okay. Do we have anything besides these? Well, I thought this was an Italian restaurant, but... I guess we can go with some seafood. Um, Tempest is bougie, so she will probably order something um, expensive. So we'll go with the lobster thermidor. And Nico will, yeah, well, let's see. She will go with that. And Nico will go with the walleye surprise. How about that? That sounds kind of good. Okay, so... I'm going to have Nico go use the restroom. Um, can we get over there, though? All right. Use the restroom. I don't think it's going to... I don't think he's going to use the restroom. I think he's going to... Did they order yet? Okay. There we go. Yeah, he's highly tense. I mean, it doesn't help it that he's got to use the restroom. But she looks like, you know, she's off. She's happy. Um, okay. He's getting hype over there by himself. Sorry about the bouncing around, guys. This um, restaurant is not ideal for filming or recording. You know, um, Tempest, she means well. She's probably got a soft spot somewhere in that cash register that is her heart. Somebody else just got struck by lightning. 
<laughs> who else? Who else? Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the Nico. It's the Nico. No, it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think this is hilarious. He has the worst luck. <laughs> he does. I, I am so sorry. I am over here in tears. <laughs> I don't know why I think this is hilarious. Okay. Okay. Let me let me enhance my call. <laughs> you know, he's just like I, I, wait. <laughs> First of all, both of you, y'all look ridiculous. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. Oh um <laughs> Alright, Nico, go on ahead. <laughs> go back back upstairs and eat your dinner. <laughs> oh gosh. The umbrella did not protect <laughs> Yeah, he just might cancel his date at this point. He's just oh man. Just get back inside. It'll be all right. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, she's like, what happened to you? He's like, yeah, don't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, the celebrity thing. Just sit down and eat your food. <laughs> Timbiz, you sit down and eat your food as well. Um... Let's see if uh, she's so worried about the celebrity. Okay, she's double fisted. Where did she get the other drink from? I guess she'd rather drink than eat. Well, typical for her. Um, she's really um, constantly on a diet and worried about her weight. Uh, hello, Brandy. Um, but he's ready to eat. He's like, you know what? I've been struck by lightning. My umbrella broke. I'm about to eat. I don't care. Um... Maybe he does care. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> grabbed his food. Oh, this is annoying. I'm going to have to um, fix that. And is there a way to keep celebrities from coming to your lot? Nico, sit down and eat your food. <laughs> All right. They still need to talk. All right, so let's um, have them let's have them ask her about her day. They haven't really talked a lot, and she's she's like it's been going well, um, but I missed you, and You know, I was a little worried. You haven't been any, spending any time with me, and I thought maybe you were trying to put your club before me. And you know how I am. I need all the attention I can get. You know, I am the best-looking girl in high school. <laughs> it's like, look, I told you, you don't have anything to worry about. I really need to be doing this for my grade. And, you know, um, I, you know, I care about you, but... School comes first, especially um, since I'm trying to. Um, ah. In the way. Rude. Can't even have a conversation, you guys, with uh, this. You know what? I'm going to have them uh, leave. So I'm going to have him suggest that they go somewhere else quieter um so let's say let's complain about the dish it's like you know what i'm really not feeling this let's let's just get out of here um <laughs> there's too many people around and you know let's go somewhere quieter so we can talk because i meant for this for you know as quality time together 
and you know both of us are distracted by all the the goings on so let's get out of here so i'm gonna have them um i'm gonna have them pay for the meal and head out i'm gonna figure out another place for them to go in the meantime um that date was a but oh i thought someone died i was like you gotta be kidding me that would have just whoa <laughs> Oh my gosh. If anything, I am being highly entertained by everyone falling. Just, <laughs> I don't care. All right, so let's head out. <laughs> let's go. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go try to find another place for them to hang out. So I will be right back. And we're back, guys. I decided to bring them to the park. Um, you know, it's nice and quiet. Nobody's here. Uh, this is the perfect spot for them to have a moment. Um, it is kind of late, but you know, um, Nico knows that he needs to, uh, spend as much time as he possibly can because, uh, between practice and tutoring and trying to keep up with his grades and things like that, he doesn't have as much time for Tempest as uh, she deserves and as she wants. Um, so, oh, invite to stay the night. Yeah. Tell engaging story. I'll have them talk a little bit. She keeps walking away. We can't have this conversation. Um, I think she's trying to hint. She's like, <clears throat> why are they talking so far apart? Excuse me. I mean, it's like, you know what? I'm, I'm doing really good in school. Uh, coach says that I'll probably be playing ball or playing again uh, in the um, next week. And it's like, yeah, I'm really, really happy for you. But I'm a little worried. You know, like I said, you've been spending a lot of time with them. And that girl, Tati, I don't know. It's like, Tati's cool. She's really cool. I like her. Um, and she's been helping me a lot. So, yeah, but she's, I think she's a gold digger. She's, you know, she's poor. She doesn't have a lot of money. And, you know, your, your family's wealthy. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> That's the pot calling the kettle black. Oh, okay. Are they going to, I guess she's still hungry. I mean, she really didn't get to eat at the uh, restaurant. So, all right, well, uh, he's going to play some chess. That's not what we're here for, Nico. That's not what we're here. Let's get over here and try to butter her up. Um, flirt with her a little, maybe hug her. Give her some reassurance that, uh, you know, she's still number one um, in his life, even though his main focus has been trying to get his grades up so he can be eligible to play. Um, so let's give her a hug. It's like, you know, don't worry about it. Tati's not like that. She's a really good friend. Um, it's like, I know you like her. I know you think she's probably cool, but you need to watch out for people like her. It's like, you know, baby, I love you. And I know you're just trying to look out for me, but I'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to give her a kiss. Uh, wait, was it a promise ring? Yeah, the, I think the promise ring option was there. Was it? Okay, I just tried to get them to kiss, and he went, yeah, it was. He totally just... I guess he uh, looks like he was texting somebody. Maybe he was texting Tati. It is kind of late. They really need to get going, but he wants to end the night with a good kiss. So let me pause it. Let's get a screenshot of that. As a matter of fact, uh, let me do this really quick. Oops. <laughs> what am I doing? All right. Uh, I'm just going to get a good screenshot of this because, you know. There we go. Whoops. Yeah. 
There we go. That's good. That is like the worst kiss ever. <laughs> okay. All right. So they are ending the night in a good note. She's still hungry because she made some uh, grilled fruit, but he's got to get going. And uh, so they're going to end it off. And um, they're just going to not invite her to stay good night. Give her one more embrace. It's like, you know, babe, I've got to get going. Um, who are you texting? I'll see you tomorrow at school. And But, yeah, I've got to get going home. All right. So we're going to go ahead and send him home. And uh, I will be back in just a moment. Okay, we're back. So Nico's at home, and he just came upstairs to, you know, kind of remind himself of that great kiss he had with the love of his life. I think they really have a good relationship still. Yeah, they're still in love. They're lovebirds. Um, you know, he thinks that she's the love of his life for the most part. I mean, as much as teenagers can be. So, yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and have him go to sleep. And, um, yeah, so he can get some sleep. Again, we're back at this 4 o'clock in the morning. Let's just say Nico is a night owl. I mean, obviously he is. He's still got a little bit of energy. Um, he probably could have stayed out for another hour or so and been fine. Um, but, yeah, we're going to put him to sleep. And I guess the rest of the household is asleep. So I don't want to cut again, but I'm going to because we're going to go and check in on Tati before we end the episode. So again, I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, we're back and we're sitting here on the porch with uh, Grandma Lily Mae and she just looks so rested, you guys. This is like the perfect summer day, just sitting out on your front porch, you know, drinking a glass of iced tea and well she it looks like she has some coffee here a little warm for that but she's just you know enjoying the weather uh okay well she just grunted maybe she's uh, i mean she is still in a bad mood and she's hot and so maybe we should move her into the house where it's nice and cool um and she does need to take these clothes down oh they're still wet all right so She's here by herself. Tati should be getting out of school here soon. So I'm going to send Grandma Lily back in the house. Let me check the temperature in the house really quick. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to turn the air on. Um, let's bring her in the house. I don't know if there's any, uh, like, repercussions if they're uh, outside too long. Um, I know, like, in The Sims 3, if, you, um, if they're out too long, they get sunburnt. I don't remember. I've never like actually had a sim stay out too over um, um, over the allotted time or not the allotted time, but I've never had them like stay out absolutely to the point where you know there is a possible death. Can they? Can they die from being overheated in The Sims Three? Somebody let me know. Tell me in the comments if. If that's a thing. All right. So I'm going to have her uh, move the clothes to the laundry. Uh, let me have her check on her plants here. I think she's already harvested them all. Yeah, she's good. These I don't think are going to grow. I think these are out of season. Yeah, I don't even remember what we planted there. All right. Well, she's still in a bad mood. And what's going on in the household is everybody's still stomping around. Tatiana's in a great mood. You know, she's outside of the house. She's been spending uh, as much time at school as she possibly can. So she doesn't really have to deal with her mom or um, her grandmother. Even though she's not upset with her grandmother, she's more or less upset with her mom. And um, when they are around each other, it's nothing but arguing. As a matter of fact, the relationship between... Lily May and her daughter has plummeted quite a bit. Yeah, they're fighting back and forth. Um, most of it. Oh, wait a minute now. Well, look at you. Somebody is feeling themselves. And she has got attitude. Oh, she's bored. She's bored at school. Now, that's a first for her. 
Okay, well, um, probably because Nico didn't show up at school today because he overslept. But I'm checking a relationship with her mom, and yeah, it's just as low. Not a good sign. They haven't really, been, well, they obviously haven't been getting along. And why do you have turkey in your purse? You are just like your grandmother keeping food in your purse. Okay, I'm going to have her do her homework. And um, let's see if she'll do that. I know she's bored, but she made you a home. Yeah, she could do her homework. But anyways, yeah, she and her mother, every time they're in the same room, they do nothing but, you know, um, throw shade at each other. And um, just she's been really, really mouthy, which is not in her normal character. But um, <laughs> the fact that her mother gave her some freedom doesn't help the situation. You know, her mom is still showing up in at school checking in on her and you guys saw if you watched the last episode she showed up at the coffee house and she sat in the corner and watched her the entire time so yes the freedom the idea of freedom is there but there really isn't any freedom when your mom is stalking you constantly trying to see what you're doing but you know she means well l means well l means well bars uh she means Tati means the world to her, even though they're fighting right now. She just doesn't want Tati to make the same mistakes that she did. She wants Tati to finish school, um, go off to college, get a great job. Um, and, you know, she has plenty of time for boys. At least that's her motto. You've got plenty of time for boys. Right now, just focus on school. That is your only job. Grandma is slamming doors left and right. Okay, so I'm going to end it there, but I did want you guys um, to, uh, let's see. Uh, Lily is, what, what's going on with Lily? Oh, Lily may have discovered something new about herself. This discovery added a new trait, which will have a big impact on Lily Mae's character. I have yet to figure out what that is. What is this? Maybe we can see here. Learning about me from Slice of Life. Lily Mae's discovered, okay, same thing. Fuzzy feelings, refresh. Okay, I have no idea. Um, I will figure that out. Maybe if I had read the instructions on Slice of Life. Thank you, Kawhi Sims. You're a goat. Seriously, um, I, yeah, if I would read the slice of life, maybe I can figure out what that is. All right. So Elle is home. Um, she is in a fighting mood. <laughs> this is not good. She's still upset. She's enraged. Um, it's not good. Tati, how about you move your little homework on upstairs? Like Elle's like, uh, Lily means like you should probably take your books upstairs on your mom is home and I just don't feel like dealing with um, I don't feel like dealing with her or you right now. <laughs> uh, so Tati is going to um, bring her homework upstairs. Um, maybe she can chat a bit on her phone. Uh, have her rush on upstairs. Yeah. Or chat a bit on her phone on her computer. And let's see, let me see. Let's have her chat, chat with, let's have her chat with, um, oh my goodness. Let's have her chat. Let's, you know what? Let's have her email Pia, um, let her know that she won't be attending, uh, tutoring today. Um, actually, she should probably text her. Let's have her text her instead. Send text to Pia and to, uh, to Miss B. Actually, let's, yeah, let's just have her send a text to Miss B. She won't be at uh, tutoring today. I'm going to have her come back upstairs because I don't want her in the same room with her mom right now because... You know, Grandma Lily doesn't need to hear that. You know, she's older woman. She doesn't need to hear the arguing. And, okay, she's coming in her room. What? Tati's like, great. What are you doing? Okay, guys, I just wanted to 
have you guys spend a little time with Tati and the family just to um, check in on them. And we will definitely spend more time with them on the next episode. But before I leave, um, I did tell you to stay seated and hang on until the end of the episode. And I hope you did. Um, I had an idea and I wanted to run it by you because I think you'll like this. Um, in every episode, I'm going to have a small little item that uh, will either hint at what's going to happen in the next episode or maybe on down the line. And I want you to be, um, try to pay attention and see if you can pick that little item out. What am I doing? I'm going to the map. Did not mean to do that. Um, I want you to pick that item out. And if you guys get, um, if one of you guys gets, uh, 15 items right no we'll just make it an even 10 how about that an even 10 so that's 10 episodes i know that's a lot but i'm going to um i'm going to give um one of the winners we'll do a drawing for anybody that's got all 10 right and we'll put them in a drawing and you'll win a sims sims prize uh, from the Sims store. How about that? All right, so I just want to see if you guys are paying attention and it's just a little fun You can buy you guys can be little sleuths and maybe they'll give you some ideas of what's going on in the story I actually want to before I leave uh, Lock the door whoops to Tati's room um, everyone but Tati allow access to clubs we'll say the girls and I think we can allow we'll say the tutoring okay all right so I whoops why did I do that anyways that's all for today guys I do hope you enjoyed this episode um, let me know in the comments what you think about what's going on between well, let's see, Melisande and her husband, Nico and Tati, Nico and Tempest, Tati and her mother and her grandmother. I would love to hear your opinions on that. Um, also, if you're not a member of our family, go ahead and subscribe because we want you to be a kinfolk like everybody else here. Uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know every time I upload. Thank you again for watching, guys, and until next time... Ciao.